Hi, everybody. Welcome back from spring break. This is just a quick overview of what's in this week's folder. We are at week nine. The end is now in sight. This week, we're going to be rereading uh, the same article that we left off with for week eight, The Boys in the Bunkhouse by Dan Barry. And I want to point out to everyone that there are tools in the folder both for getting the article read out loud to you, but also there's a documentary video that you may wish to watch that will really give you a good sense of the whole story. Um, this week, we are going to be looking specifically for evidence of what it was that made these men especially vulnerable to exploitation. So the, the studying this week and the writing this week will all revolve around this question. You know, why were these men in particular so vulnerable to being exploited in this way? Now, a lot of people will say it's because they were intellectually disabled. And it's a great idea as you're reading to look out for for specific evidence about intellectual disability in the text. But some people might also point out that these men wound up very far from home. They didn't have their families around them, sort of like Lola. And that maybe made them especially vulnerable to exploitation. Other people might notice that these men were never really fully integrated into the life of their community. And that made them especially vulnerable to exploitation. Um, some people might notice that as intellectually disabled people, as disabled people in general, they didn't enjoy the same kind of protection under the law, the same kind of economic protection under the law that everybody else gets, and that that made them especially vulnerable to being exploited. So I'm really asking that you just look for one piece of evidence that shows why these men were especially vulnerable to exploitation. And your short writing this week, your informal writing this week, will be about the one piece of evidence that you find. Um, as always, please, please remember to do the required survey on Friday. Uh, you get credit for just filling that out, whether you've done the other homework or not, and it's a great way of boosting your grade. Um, I have office hours, as always, on Monday at 3 p.m., and I will look forward to seeing some of you there. And finally, there's an instructional session on Tuesday at 11, as always. I'm looking forward to seeing you this week.